Hey guys, it's Katie, and I just wanted to come on for a share video. Um, I've been saying I'm um, a whole lot. This is like the third time I'm trying to make this video because I keep getting tongue-tied. But I've made, this will be my third pocket letter, and um, so I don't have a lot of experience in it. And so neither had Darla G. She had never made one either. So I asked her if, you know, she wanted to do a little swap with me, and she agreed. So I want to share with you the pocket letter and the card that I made for her. Um, I'm not going to upload this video until after I send it to her. Um, that way she can be surprised. But... Uh, this is the third one I've made, and before I show you, well, I'll show you the pocket letter, and then I will show you the stuff that I used to make it, and I'll go through it real fast, and then we'll get back to the pocket letter, but that's the pocket letter and the card that I made for her. They kind of match. I was trying to match them. So, um... So let me show you real quick. The paper stacks that I used for them was this old one that we all got from Michael's a long, long time ago. Um, I used a couple pieces of paper out of this one, and I just like it because it has, like, you know, the tea stains on it. And so I needed those for my coffee stains. And then I used uh, this newer Michael's Hot Buy paper stack love you a latte. I love this stack. It is so cute. Um, and I'm not real good at flipping through, so I'll just kind of, I'm sure everybody has seen it. I would like to have another one because it is so cute and so fun to work with. But so those, those are the two stacks that I used on this. I also used, um, this DCWV pebble stack and it has like, it's embossed. Um, so I used that one too. And I got this one at like a A to Z. I think is where I got it. Um, I also used my new die set that I got from Tuesday morning. Um, okay, and then I'll go through this. And then, you know, if, if there's anything else. I just wanted to show you my papers. You know, my paper stacks right off the top. So I could get it off my desk. Um, but this is what I made her and you know we left it open she said I could choose whatever and I told her she could choose whatever and I know she likes coffee so I went with the coffee theme so I will start here on the side um this bottom ribbon here I thought was um washi tape because I bought it with some washi tape but it's not I took it off the roll and it's fabric and it, there's no, it's not sticky or anything. It's not the fabric tape. It's just fabric. So, ribbon. So, I used that. And you didn't get a whole bunch. But, um, I used that down here. Then the lace in between came from my lace stash. I used this throughout the whole, um, pocket letter. I just dyed it different colors. You know, using, well, I used this alcohol ink, the caramel, and the latte. So, and, and I use my Copic markers, too, on some. And then the third, the heart, is the same thing. Um, it's a very, very light color. So, um, you know, I dyed it and went over it with the uh, rub and buff. So, and made it the colors that I wanted it to be. Okay, so this first one here. Um, I used the paper from the paper stack, and the trim around the sides, the white one I showed you, and I just used my um, alcohol inks to color it. And these little flowers in the back, they're actually um, nail art, but I use them as sequins, so I put those everywhere. And these little coffee cups here came out of, um, of another die set. I don't know where I put it, but it has, here it is, um, it's a tea set, but of course I used it for the coffee cup, you know, looking, so, um, I used that, and I made a whole bunch of cups all over the place, and just put, um, glossy accents over them, and then I filled them up with these 
um, hot cocoa liquid pearls. So it looked like there was coffee in them. These half and halves, uh, they came out of the sticker pack that I got from Tuesday morning not too long ago. I used several of the stickers out of there for this. So, and then this Hello Friend is from the paper stack. I just cut it and put it up on dimensionals. So that's the first one. This is the second one, and it's just more of those coffee cups that I die cut and some yellow sequins and then some of the pink flowers nail art that I put in there. So I kept that one simple, and I put, you can see I put the glossy accents all over them to make them shiny. This one here, I used three different papers, and then the coffee break right here is a sticker pack. I don't know where I got it. I've had it in my stash, but it's a whole bunch of different coffee sayings. So I just put it on there and with the coffee cup and then some more of the liquid pearls. This is another sticker out of the pack that I just glossy accent up here. Um, on this, I went over it with my stickles, the clear rock candy, and then I went over the whole piece of um, paper to do that so that it was really shiny. I don't know if you can see it or not. And then some more of the trim. Okay, down here, I kept it really simple, and it's the same paper, and then, you know, all these little sequins that we got from... Target not too long ago. Um, I used some of these and I just glued them on the paper in different spots. And then these doilies behind, they're some of my favorite doilies right now and I got them on clearance at Hobby Lobby. And you know, you can alter them any way you want. As a matter of fact, I'm doing a project right now where I've had to alter some of them. So, um, I love those doilies. So I just stained them with the alcohol inks and rubbed some Rub and Buff Antique Gold and then put one of the paper clips. This is a shaker part and I put some flowers in there and you know different kinds of beads and glitter. And then on top these are my butterflies from my punch and then in the middle these little tiny flat back pearls they're actually nail art too that I use a lot of um, for flower centers and stuff I just put them in the middle of the butterflies so they're actually glued on I don't know if, there you go they're actually glued on the outside but I thought it was really cute okay this one uh, this is another little saying out of the paper stack and I cut it up into strips and put some of the rub and buff gold the back paper is that pebble paper that I, you know, just rubbed some gold on and put some alcohol ink to make it look like coffee stains. Use the same trim again. And these little sweet packs are out of the stickers. And there's another one of those little flat back pearl things from the nail art. And when it, and those flowers right there, the ones I used on all this are those ones we got a long time ago at Michael's. Well, I got a long time ago. So... Um, then over here, this is another little saying out of the paper stack that I just cut up and put on. I stained the edges and put them on pop dots. Um, and then this little tiny heart right there, that is nail art too. I don't know. If, yeah, I got it here. Um, little hearts. I love them. I love this nail art stuff. I don't put them on my fingernails, but I use them on all my crafts. Um, more of the coffee cups and the liquid pearls and then more of the lace. That one's pretty simple, but I think that one's one of my favorites. I don't know if I just like the saying or, but I love that one. Okay, this one, this is a sticker out of the pack. So is the cookies. I put my own flower on there, all these flowers. And then the pearls the flat back pearls in the middle of those are some pearls I got a while back this is wild orchid craft order so I finally got to use some of those um and that one's pretty simple too but I thought it was pretty and then this one here uh I used yeah same same lace I guess um 
and then I used some of my bling. This is a sticker out of the pack. I put some of the liquid pearls around the edges. And um, this is a saying out of the pack. I just put it up on pop dots. So that is my pocket letter, my coffee themed pocket letter. And I'm starting to fill some on the back. I'm gonna give her some Starbucks ribbon. Um, but I tried to give her a little bit of everything that I used on this pocket letter, but I don't know. Um, that's so far. So I had a lot of fun making it, and I cannot wait to make another one. I think I just want to make a whole bunch of them and put them like in a binder for myself. Okay, and so then I went ahead and I made her this card. Let me move the pocket letter so it's not so much in the background. Okay. So here's the card. Basically, I used everything the same um, on the card. Uh, the stickles in the middle. I, um, except the gold on here, I went ahead and used my embossing powder. And then I put some more of the glitter here so it kind of matches. Same flowers. Uh, these little flower centers I got from the Dollar Tree. This nail art. And I just used the little beads that are in it. Or the little gems that are in it. This is some seam binding that I got from Wild Orchid Craft. Yeah, light mink. Um, and then this paper back here is like um, I don't even know what to call it. It's like feels like rawhide, but it's not. It's a paper though. And I went ahead and rubbed some of the rub on antique gold. But everything else is the same. Same paper stacks, same pearls and all that. But I thought it was cute. And then in the inside, just the same. Some more of the doilies. I embossed it with some gold. Embossed the paper. These are my hello punches. Or Sizzix dies. Sorry about that. So anyway, um... That's the card in the pocket letter that I made for Darla G. And I hope she likes it. I had a lot of fun doing it. Um, I'm excited to make another one. And um, I know this was a long video, but I just wanted to share it. I was pretty happy with it. I hope she's happy with it. Um, and don't forget, I'm having that pocket letter challenge. And it's not too late to join. So if you hadn't already, go over and look at the pocket letter challenge video um because I'm going to be giving away a $50 prize um for pocket letters so I'm really excited about it and go check it out send your subbies over to check it out and we'll have a lot a lot of fun so thanks for watching talk to y'all later